Okay, newbie, we've only got a few minutes and a lot to cover, so listen up. The first thing you need to know about this world is... No, not dragons. Fuck those dragons. Focus! The seasons in this place last a ridiculously long time, so when we start this, everyone has just come out of a long, long summer. So let's just say they ain't too happy about winter coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming! Stop that. You're making me uncomfortable. Over in Westeros, Lord Eddard Stark, a.k.a. Ned, is asked by his friend, the king, Robert Baratheon, to be the hand of the king, a.k.a. right-hand man. Ned doesn't want to go, but that's his boy. So he uproots his family and heads to King's Landing. Nice family, right? Don't get attached. I'm just saying. Over on Essos, the exiled children of House Targaryen want King Robert dead and the throne back in their family. Before Robert, it belonged to their father, the Mad King, who tried to burn everybody in the kingdom to a crisp with wildfire until this motherfucker killed him. Now, he's the king's brother-in-law, the queen's twin brother. Put a pen in that, because that's important. Now, Daenerys Targaryen gets married off to Khal Drogo, leader of the Dothraki, in exchange for using their badass army to take the throne back. At least, that was the plan. Oh, and she got some eggs as a gift. Beautiful, right? Okay, now, the last place you need to know about is this 300-mile-long, 700-foot-high ice wall. The Night's Watch defend the wall against their sworn enemies, the Wildlings, but that's not the only thing they need to worry about. And some time has passed now, and all hell is broken loose because of some things I don't have time to explain. Just know that in all seven of the kingdoms of Westeros, peacetime is done! Benito! Everybody thinks they should sit on the Iron Throne. This guy, this guy, this guy too. But the guy who's on the throne now is the heir. He's not exactly humble about it either. The king can do as he likes. People doubt the legitimacy of his right to the throne because his uncle and mom, the queen, are a little too close. Come on, baby. Remember those lovely eggs? Well, Danny found a way to hatch them. And yes, you guessed it. Three little dragon babies. Oh, oh, they're so cute. Over on that big ice wall, Jon Snow, Ned's illegitimate son, and the rest of the Night's Watch are really getting worried about the wildlings on the other side. And these motherfuckers are cold. Which is why everybody should be worried about this long-ass winter coming, but instead are too busy fighting. No! Meanwhile, Danny's dragons finally got bigger. Oh, relax. Not that much. She still needs an army if she wants that throne. So she heads over to Slaver's Bay to try and get one. Nobody seems to have any idea that the White Walkers are about to wipe out everybody. The Seven Kingdoms, the Wildlings, Everybody! The only one with a clue aside from Jon Snow seems to be her! This war of five kings means nothing. Meanwhile, this jerk is still on the Iron Throne. So right now, House Lannister is winning this game. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. And the only reason they're winning is the wealthy House Tyrell is backing them. So this asshole has to marry her to fuse the families together. So. What happened to all the Starks, you ask? Well, let me tell you, they're not doing so well. Rob, his wife, and his mother, well, let's just say some wedding invitations you should decline. Sansa's stuck in King's Landing with this motherfucker, and Arya teams up with this scary-looking dude to survive. Bran, Bran tripping. Meanwhile, nobody's paying attention to Danny, who did pretty well for herself. The dragons are even bigger and can now do some serious damage. She's got thousands of followers and 8,000 of the baddest soldiers in the land. Now that's formation. But she's not the only one who has an army, see? The White Walkers, the scary motherfuckers, they got one too. The Night Watch is trying the best they can to stop them. And remember what I said about winter a few minutes ago? It's almost here, and still ain't nobody ready. Even though they've been saying, winter's coming for four seasons now. And Cersei thinks she's a good leader, but she ain't. She's pretty much Marie Antoinette in this whole situation. Uh -huh, the people, you think I care? 
So the people turn against the leaders and turn to religion, a dangerous one. As for the Starks, well, Arya is working on her revenge dance, and Jon Snow is still with the Night's Watch defending the wall. So let's look at the wall again, shall we? Remember, Jon knows that the White Walkers, AKA Army of the Dead, are coming. And being the good guy that he is, decides to try and save the Wildlands from getting wiped out. The Night's Watch aren't exactly thrilled about this idea, but John doesn't care. He's the Lord Commander, and they have to do as they're told. And remember that other battle John fought? We didn't have time to show you? <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> nothing compared to... Man, listen. Trust me. I wish I had time to show you this battle, but it is sick. <laughs> anyway, back to Danny. More power, more problems. She's having trouble controlling everybody. The former slaves, the masters, these guys with the masks. Even her dragons ain't fans of hers right now. And what's worse, before nobody even knew she had dragons and she wasn't a threat. Now everybody knows she had dragons. And right about now, she could use some solid advice as to what to do next. I am the gift. He is Tyrion. Sure, he's a Lannister and he's a lush, but hey, don't hold that against him. You're going to advise me. Now. Let's check in on the Stark kids one more time. Sansa can't catch a break and is now stuck in the worst relationship of her life with this dickhead. As for Arya, a girl has decided to boost her skill set by becoming no one. And out of nowhere, Jon Snow's men show him just how much they didn't appreciate risking their lives to try and save the wildlings. And of course, we all know what happened next because it was huge, huge. Oh, you don't, huh? Wait, what? Oh, sorry, folks. We run out of time. Shame, shame, shame. Because all of this is nothing compared to what we didn't have a chance to get into. The backstabbing, the lying, the cheating, the parts that'll make you feel uncomfortable. Parts that will break your heart. Epic battles. I mean, you need to see it for yourself. You really do. And, uh, huh? What? Yes, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yes, we have dragons. After all that, you're still stuck on these fucking dragons? Okay, you wanna see a dragon, motherfucker? All right, here you go. Here you fucking go. You happy now? 